Hello everyone. Um, I'd like to make some videos um, of learning how to play bouzouki. Whoever wants to learn how to play bouzouki in um, in Australia or overseas or um, all over the world, um, I will be doing some videos of um, from the beginning of how to learn all the way to advance. Um, uh, to play songs and and on the bouzouki and I'll be explaining my lessons um, in English and in Greek um, and that way uh, people from Greece and people from all over the world that don't speak Greek can understand this instrument um, it's it's a very nice instrument it's got it's very unique and it's a very very um, uh, an instrument that, uh, apart from the Greek people, uh, not many people in the other, uh, in the rest of the world, um, um, uh, in recordings and songs and 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 music, play it a lot, apart from the Greek, the Greeks. Um, so, uh, so I thought um, to teach people um, from uh, other countries. Um, in Australia, England, uh, all over the world, um, how to learn and play the instrument. Um, obviously, you're going to need an instrument, so you can purchase one online from all these different Greek luthers um, that are available online. You can buy a bouzouki. The better the bouzouki, the more money you spend, the more comfortable you're going to be on the on the neck and and pressing the frets. Um, and, and the notes and you, that way you won't get lose interest in it because I remember when I was um, a little boy and I started um, getting taught how to play um, bouzouki and my mother bought me this because we were a poor family my mother bought me an instrument that was really cheap and the chords were really high and it was really uncomfortable and very hard to practice and it, and, and I lost interest when I was um, young. And then 10 years ago, I picked that up again. I decided to buy one uh, because I found one on, on here in, 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 in where I live in Australia, which is very, very rare to find uh, a good bouzouki to buy, especially on your uh, budget. So I picked it up and um, that's my other one that I have. This is a a, a, a better one that I bought from Greece. Um, so I decided to do this. So you're obviously going to need a bouzouki. So you can buy one online. And, and like I said, if you, the more you spend, the the more you're going to enjoy it. And uh, and it makes better sound as well. And you're going to enjoy it a lot more. So you don't lose lose interest. Um, it's very important for you to be able to press the notes nice and comfortably. Um, a good luther will make the chords really low and, and, and better sound and better um, equipment, better uh, materials of timber. Um, so um, I suggest that don't buy the real, real cheap ones. Buy a better, a better, um, a, a mid-range bouzouki um, to make it cut the story short to make it easier for you to purchase a bouzouki go from 15 uh, from sorry from 19 douyas which is the lines at the back um, and upwards if you can uh, you can pick up a 19 and 30 or or a 60 douya um, 19 douyas you can get it for 1500 30 um, ribs douyas you can get it for um, uh, 19, you can get it for 1500, a 31, you can get it for 1700. Um, and if you're really lucky, you might pick up uh, a 19 for about 800, 900 euro, um, which makes about $1,500 in Australian. Um, so that's some beginner's advice if you want to practice the bouzouki and learn how to how to play um, so I've decided to do some lessons to teach people how to play and I'm gonna make it as um, 
as simple as possible so you can pick up the lessons really quickly so you don't um, miscommunicate and take longer and I'll, I'll explain it really simple so you can understand um, once you in the beginning it's going to be a little bit hard just to get the idea of how the Greek music um, and the bazooki um, works um, once you get in the beginning and get get into it then everything just falls away and it all depends on how willing you are to learn the bazooki uh, so we'll get started um, the f first thing that you want to know on a, a bazooki is the, f the four co four chords the four strings technically the eight because each string has got two so each each line has got two strings basically it's a four string bazooki there's also a three string bazooki and then you times it by two so a three course bazooki is called uh it's got six strings and that four course bazooki has got eight strings so this is an eight which was um modernized in the 60s from uh, a bazooki player Kiotis, uh, because he wanted to play quicker in 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 so in in one spot by adding the next um a chord um, string makes it a lot easier to go up and down the fret in one sort of one position instead of going from here to up there and there and there um, so basically he, he added he made it sort of like a guitar um, basically um, so as we go along down the learning process you will see that there's a scale it's called usak that you can just do it on the four course bazooka you can do it just by going like that so it starts from here and it goes up up and down up and down that's the whole scale up in one spot but in the three course bazooki the usak you have to go from here to there to there to do the whole scale so that's the difference and that's one of the reasons um, that um, the bazooki players back in the 60s decided to go with four course and modernize the bazooki a little bit. Nothing wrong with the three course bazooki. It sounds good and it plays good. Um, that's the original bazooki anyway. Um, but this just makes it a little bit easier and the sound is absolutely um, really nice and, 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 and very nice to the ear to hear. Um, and as you go along and you learn, your ear becomes a tool. So you you understand music just by listening to the to the to the notes and to what you play. So as you progress, that becomes the most important tool is your ear. I remember when I started, I couldn't like you hit me a C and I, and I wasn't able to tell a C. But now I can I'm able to pick up. When I hit a string, I can hear it and, and I can pick, I know what it is. Um, that just tells you the difference from what the ear does from the beginning or when it advances. Um, um, so, for the, we'll start from the most important string that you, is used the most um, in, in the bazooki is the C, Re. The two bottom strings without putting your fingers on the fretboard it's called a, a C a re. A re not C sorry D so Re is D so so that's a re in Greek that's a D in English which is the first two strings and then from that open without putting your fingers on it it starts your whole um, line of notes so you go D or Re what's next from um, D in English is E so and then you go along 
So in Greek it goes re no no fingers re and then it goes mi fa so la si do and in English it's D E F G I B and it falls at the end back to C sorry C which is the last yeah C and then and then it goes in the right in the middle of the buzuki it starts from the beginning again which is the first note that as we said the open one with no fingers this one here is the D the Re so it starts again and it goes down so the same principle and the, and the same way it works with the second string which is the La that means A in English and it's the same principle what's after La um, it's C, the B. La, Si, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, and it goes on. C, Do. Same as the top. And it's um, very um, a, a, a good thing to do about this, learning the notes as I'm explaining now. And make it easier for you as you practice is get a, um, uh, a music book just buy you uh, just a normal notepad um, and just write down on top do re mi fa sol la si do and then on the bottom do si in, in line and, and, and so translating from greek to english so do re mi fa sol la si do on the top and then on the bottom in english so so you know which is which in the beginning until you get used to it. So the third one is Fa. And the fourth one, um, so Fa is open without your fingers and then it continues with your fingers which I'm going to explain exactly what they are. And then the last one is Do, which is the C without fingers. So you've got the four strings are Re, which is C, sorry, D, um, La, which is A, Fa, which is F, and Do, which is C. Do is C, and Re is D. So Re is D. Do, the top one, is C. So I'm trying to explain to on my videos in both languages. Um, so it makes it a little bit uh, hard for me to to uh, make you know to explain. Um, but I've decided to do it anyway in both languages. Um, because there's a lot of um, videos and teachers in um, in um, on YouTube um, that are really good teachers, but they're only explaining the methods and how to play the how to learn the bazooka in Greek. So a lot of people in in the world that like to play the, the instrument and and show some interest, so they can understand how good this instrument is. Until you know how to play, you won't know. So this is why I'm making making this. It's very important. I'm making this so everyone can play the instrument. Um, I'm not saying that there's not um, many people in the world that play the instrument, which are English or other nationalities, but not as many as it should be because of the of the of the theory of the of the of the um, uh, of the structure of the understanding of the buzuki um, is not um, they don't know so it's really important to explain every single detail 
to the whole world to understand the bazooki. They say that the Greek bazooki is the instrument of the of uh, of the gods of the Greek gods, um, and the angels play it. Or they they say back in mythology they say lots of things like this. And funny about this. Um, um, now that we've got the coronavirus and everyone's locked in the houses, I've noticed on YouTube and on the uh, social media that everyone's playing bazooki. I'm talking about the Greeks. Everyone's uh, like playing bazooki. So that's uh, maybe mythology is right. <laughs> but anyway, so this is the first lesson. Um, um, I will continue on with another video and again and again and again. Um, or well, I might continue a bit more. I'm just looking at my uh, the time. It's 15 minutes uh, for downloading on YouTube. Uh, I'll just keep on going. Um, all right. So we said that now we know the four chords. Now we've got to know the notes. I've explained the first one. The second one goes... Um, La, Si, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do. And then you go to the fourth one. So now I'm saying the, in Greek the notes, but you've got it written down, so you know how to work it out to English. I've explained it on the first string. And, it, and it's pretty easy anyway, because it's just wherever the, the chord starts, it's the continuation. So the important bit is knowing where to put your finger on each note. Um, so a good trick of learning that, so you don't, so you know where they are in every single string. So what you do is you practice the first string to know it inside out. Re mi fa sol la si do. And then it goes again from that one, like we explained. Re, mi, fa, so, la. And then down right at the end, si, do. So, re, mi, fa, so, la, si, do. Re, mi, fa, so, la, si, do. I'll do it with one finger. Once you know the first string, all the notes, and you move to the second ones by what I'm going to tell you is you will know where exactly and what note it is it's it's a meth it's a theory uh, it's a like a philosophy of the bazooki um, that's what I was trying to explain and I couldn't have that word in my in my head before it's the philosophy of the bazooki once you pick pick the philosophy of the bazooki then you will just won't stop playing it and once you learn to play um, songs um, it will take about. It will take a bit of more time. It will, you will come to a stage where you'll just look for a song that you like, and you will pick it up straight away. So you will, you will pick up the song exact and play it straight away. Like you will learn it in five minutes once you know all the all the philosophy of the bazooki. But it takes time, and the more you practice and the more dedicated you are to this instrument the quicker you learn. Uh, so in average, like gives an a, a example, it takes about five years to be become really good. Um, and that's like constantly playing it. A lot of practice. All right. So where, where was I? Um, okay, so this is the philosophy, the theory behind knowing where every note is. Once you know the first, all the first line of notes, which I go again with my first finger. So the re is open, mi, can you see? Yeah, second fret. Mi, fa, so, la, si, do, re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Si, Do. 
So you know that. So you studied the first string, and you know all the notes really, really, really good. And there's a there's a few theory, a few tricks and theories and philosophy of uh, of the neck of the notes of picking up if if you're a beginner or even if you're a professional, like really good. Sometimes we're all human. We forget. And you want to just quickly you not forget, but you know, you know, like a professional knows all every all the notes and everything. But the brain sometimes has little. Um, sometimes you just like want to find a note. It doesn't switch on. Your brain's not switched on, and you want to know um, where it is. So this is one one trick. Um, So we go from the raise open. So you want to find out now where is the where is the, the we know the open ones do fa la re. So we just pick up one note uh, fa. So you want to know where the fa is on the fourth. So the trick is. You get your second finger, and you put it two frets up on the on the fourth string. Can you see? So that's the f on the first string that we know where the fa is because we know the first string inside out. And now we want to know whether where the fa is on the fa is the F on the fourth string. So you grab your third finger just two frets one two and then on top so you go that's the that's the that's the theory one two and then on top on the fourth string that's the far and that works the same um, theory works with all the notes on the fo to to learn what the fourth string is okay the fourth string so you go to um, um, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, you go to La, where's the La on the fourth string? La, one, two, top. There's the La. So there's the La here on the bottom string. We use the theory which is one, two, frets, up on fourth. So the theory is one, two, top, fourth, La. Same with all the notes on the bottom. So, and we already know all the, all the notes on the bottom because We've practiced it over and over and over again, so we know the first string, all the notes. And then, by using these theories, these tricks, you know the strings or all the four. So now, with the theory that I just told you, the trick, that makes you know the fourth chord, all the notes. The first one we already know because that's the one that we're using as bass. So we know all the notes here. And now the third, the third one. There's a trick again in the theory there. The third note is to go, we'll go again with the fa because that's what we did with the fourth. So fa. On the first string, we know the first string, as we said, we know the fourth string inside out. I might sound a bit repeatable, like I repeat myself all the time, but it's very important because that's, I give you the understanding of it. I might be, you know, that's, it has to be this way. So Fa, so which is the trick now to learn all the notes on the third string? Fa, well the trick to this is, you go one, two, three, Four. So four. The other one we did two, and this one is four. So we need to find the door. This is the door. I'll show again. Forget about the far one. Um, I'll show it again. Door. So you go one, two, three, four. Door is up here. So you go door. Re, 
mi, fa, sol. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do. So you've got the do here. I'll show you. So you go four, four dots backwards. That's why I told you to forget about the fa, because the fa is um, too high up. I'll, show, I'll explain that to you in a moment. So we've got do. One, two, three. So from where your finger is the door, you go one, two, three, four, and the door is on the third. So door is here, and door is here on the third. So on an angle. And now you use your ear, your tool, which is the most important tool. And you go door. Do sounds the same. Same as here. Uh, re open. And you go on the re on the second string here. Sounds the same. That's very important for your ear to pick up the sounds and knowing the fretboard. And another thing is that when you buy a bazooki, you got to do... That's why usually when um, uh, people that buy bazooki in Greece, they go to a Luther's shop they sit down and they play the bazooki. That way you know that you're buying a good instrument. The first is that you call the malako, which means soft on the fretboard, malako. And you play it and see, oh, ooh, I like it, I feel comfortable. It's, uh, it's, the threats are really low and it's a really nice bazooki, comfortable to play. And the other thing that you hear, that you see, is that you make sure that the, the most important timber of the instrument that creates the sound is the kapaki, which means the top, all right? And you put it like that, in a, and you look at it with the eye, and you see that it hasn't got a, like a little belly. Um, if it's got a little, in Greek it's called skevroma, on the neck or on the kapaki, um, that means that the bazooki is no good, and it, it's not, don't buy it. Um, so you look at these, you look at the, and, and to cut the, story short there's a lot of other theories too but one these are the most important the others are just um experience so that's straight there's no no bend on the kapaki because from the tension of the strings there's a lot of pressure and if it's not made good the kapaki creates a little belly even professional bazookas do that and the luthers have made mistakes and, and they bend down very rare but it does happen so you've got to be careful and then and then the neck um you look for a bazooka that's made from mate that's got a strong thick nice neck and um and then you look at the neck um if it hasn't got a skevroma which is a like a from the weather it, it, it might have bent a bit and and it creates problems on on uh, it needs a lot of you need to take it to a luther and get it shaved off um so the way you see this when you go to the shop to buy a bazooki, what you do is you sit down, you play it, see if it's malako, and then the, and and then the second thing that you do is you do. That's why I'm bringing this up because it comes back to what where I've stopped. You, what you do is you get the re, and you go re here. Sounds the same. See that? Hear that? Re, re open on the first string. Re on the second. Pressing the fretboard sounds exactly the same, and that's where we stopped on the door. See, it sounds the same. So that's what you do. That when you go buy a bazooki, and if that if those three things pass, the bazooki is okay. The rest is just cosmetic and everything, and and, and uh, 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 the cosmetic bit is what tells the bazooki if it's a. Uh, professional, uh, advanced, or, or student. From more the decorations and, and what kind of timbers they used and all that, um, it, 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 you can tell um, which is a professional, which is advanced, and which is a, a student. A student, like I said, are 15 um, lines at the back, uh, which we call them douyas, and, and, uh, and, and the factory-made ones, which are 
you can tell they're not handmade. They're not. They're no good. You can. The, they, that's the starting price of the bazookas. Are the international ones? They make it in, in factories, which are no good. Which are about two hundred euros. And then you go to a fifteen do your handmade from a good Luther fifteen lines, which is a a good beginner's. Uh, that's a beginner's instrument. Which is like I said, if you pick up a beginner's instrument which passes all these three things, and it sounds good. Um, it still makes nice um, music, nice sounds, and everything, but because it hasn't got many decorations and not uh, not as many lines and, and many decorations and, and the fretboards are just dots. This one's all pearl, as you can see. Um, it makes the bouzouki. That's what makes the bouzouki like advanced or, or professional. Just things like that, decorations, um, and the, and 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 more work put into the bouzouki. Uh, but the good bouzouki, like a, a, a handmade one, 15 lines from a good luther, is the good beginner's instrument. But like I said in the beginning of the video, you got to go from um, 15 doyas and upwards of handmade bouzoukis from good luthers. This particular bouzouki is made from um, not many people know him um, uh, that are that I of the modern um, players but only old players that everyone knew him is he's the most popular Luther in um, in Greece and, he, and and his family going back in the 1800s made the first bouzouki uh, the first like um, Leiko which is um, mid-class um, uh, like always uh, is a mid-class uh, mid-class music it's, that's how we call it in Greece like all means like mid-class people's music like the poor people uh, they're not really really rich and they used to play in the streets with the and it got developed it started the bazooka goes back like centuries um, but the modern and like like real um, uh, professional like the beginning of the professional like music in Greece started back in the uh, eighteen late uh, like eighteen hundreds uh, late eighteen hundreds nineteen hundreds. Well, this this particular Luther uh, is uh, uh, Stelios Kederidis. Um, his son's taken over now. Stelios Kederidis. Yeah, sorry, Michael, his son, is taken over. I, this has been made from his father, handmade from um, uh, Stelio. Um, he's passed away. Um, this is very important, um, sentimental to me, this bazooki, because um, when I went to his shop and bought this, uh, I went to Greece because my dad was dying. So I went to see my dad and I had the opportunity to go and buy a bazooki. So... I asked around the neighborhood who was the best bazooki uh, maker in, in Perez, where I'm from, and they said that Mr. Skidder is. So the taxi driver took me there, um, and I went to his workshop, and he was like the age of my dad, um, 87 um, he was, and he sold me this bazooki um, in person, and, um, and, uh, and he made this uh, in person. You can tell that it's handmade. Um, um, and uh, I spoke to his son not long ago and um, uh, at the shop, at the Luther shop in Perez, and he told me that his dad passed away. And then I, uh, I asked him, this is the dad that sold me this bazooki. And he said to me that it happened um, in the same period that my dad died. So this is very sentimental because I remember going there with my son and buying this bazooki when my dad was really old and ready to pass away. That's the reason I went to see him in Greece and um, and I've, I've had that since then in 2016 2016 um, but this is a um, this is um, made a long long t before 2016 um, uh, uh, many 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 years before 2016 because what usually Mr. Uh, Skidderidis does is he makes bazooka because he's a Luther and he hangs them up and he s sells them 
uh, not you know he doesn't sell all the bazookas or they just sit there and sit there and um, and um, well, and uh, and I already know now that there's only 25 instruments uh, left from him, from him because he's passed away now. So this is a very very rare instrument, and um, and as I was before, um, his his um, family. So he was 87 years old when he passed away. Like his background, like his ancestors, his family. His grandfather, so we're going back now, century or two centuries, I don't know how long, a long, long time ago. I haven't been to the museum, but the oldest bazooki that exists in Greece is in the Athens Museum. And it's got his tag on there and, uh, uh, and his name on there um, and, and his stamp on the bazooki uh, from, his great, great, from his grandfather, Skederidis. And it's the oldest bazooki in the Greek Museum in Athens, so that just tells you the whole the, the whole picture about this Luther. And and when I was in, in his shop, he um, he had a lot of a um, lot of um, uh, pictures back in the 60s, 50s, and the biggest names, the beginning of the Lake Or that that I said before, Lake Or, uh, when it all started the professionalism and all that. Um, um, Kazadzidis, Chitsanis um, used to um, get their organs from the instruments from him, and I've seen the pictures myself, and I've I've seen them how how um, how how uh, it, how good his instruments uh, are because if music players like that go to him um, to to like for example, Kazadzidis played the guitar, and he went to him to um, to make his guitars. And then Titanis played the bazooki. Titanis used to go to him to get his bazookis. And um, and 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 there's other Luthers too that these um, big names, Gazadzidis, Titanis used to go because they used to get um, uh, they used to pick the good Luthers were like um, not many back then. So say there was like five or five or ten good Luthers. The the professionals back then in the sixties fifties used to go to those. 10. Like we've got um, Zosef, we've got Satirian, we've got um, we've got um, Skederidis, like like I said. There's three there. And then where the Skederidis shop is in Perez, um, that street, uh, I think it's called uh, Eletheros. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm not, I can't remember really um, the street name. But um, there used to be, that street was just full of Luthers like 10 shops or five, six shops in a row, and there's only one left, and that's the one that I'm talking about from where uh, this bazooka came from. And that just tells you the whole picture that back in the 50s, that street, this Luther, and the other Luthers were there, then they, it's all gone now and everything. So there's all the new Luthers now they've picked up from them because what happens is those boys back then and the Luthers that are now, they used to be boys back then, and that's how the the uh, the, the the history repeats it and and moves on, and it's like from generation to generation, or from apprentices to um, tradesmen of the Luther of the bazooka Lutheran business. So the so basically what I'm trying to say is the Luthers these days are Luthers that became Luthers from learning from these old Luthers, and. And there should be a lot of respect there, which I believe there is. Um, but I just, I just can't. Um, it's just that um, in in along the line, um, I've spoken to and I've seen um, a lot of bazooki music and videos on YouTube. That um, some of the new um, bazooka players that are really really good like, and famous on youtube like uh, they don't know mr skedderidi so that just tells me something that these modern players are not they're not really really interested of the whole picture of, of, of the of the bazookas but if you go to someone for example like uh like uh, like gazadzidi's friends they know mr skedderidi if you go to titsani's 
friends that he had back then and then generations before. They like nearly every person know, uh, knows him in in, in Perez, and, and 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 some of these new bazooka players don't even know him. So that's that just tells you something about the some of the uh, uh, bazooka players that are out there. Um, uh, are more in, they're, they're not really interested in the whole uh, picture of the bazooki because all this that I'm saying to you is a, the actual this, the history of the bazooki. Uh, so basically, what I, basically at the end of the day, they don't know the full history of the bazooki. Things like that are very important for a bazooki player to know, like Luther's uh, everything, everything about the bazooki. Uh, it's history, where it comes from. That's why in the beginning of the video I've said to use that in mythology, we're going about thousands of years ago, they're saying that the bazooka was an instrument of the, the Greek gods. And I and, and then in, in the in, in and then we've moved to the from the ancient Greek gods to the new one which is Jesus Christ and, and the new um, um, God, put it that way. Uh, because back then it was 12 gods, now it's only one God. And the new, you know, Jesus Christ and God, um, angels and all that, they say that this is the instrument of the angels, because this this is how old it is. And, and there is pictures, of, of, because I've done, um, I've done high school in, in, in Greece, um, and I've read uh, history, and, 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 and I remember back then when I used to learn history and that in the high school, that there is pictures um, and, and and portraits and, and books and ancient books. There is a lot of, if you look into it, you'll see pictures and a lot of, um, uh, of, 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 like, I'll give you an example. Like, um, there was, a, I can't remember, there was this Greek goddess back in the mythology that used to play an instrument like this, similar to this, a bit, little bit, a little bit different. And, and she used to play it. So that just gives you an, an idea. Um, that, that if you know the full story of the bazooka and everything and you're just really interested about it, you'll realize that, um, that and then, then you'll put everything together and, 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 um, and you'll um, understand that it, uh, this is not all a makeup thing. This is reality. Uh, like I said to you before, um, the, we've, We've got the coronavirus. Everyone's locked in the house, and there's a lot of people saying, "Oh, it's the end of the world, and we, oh, what's going on? What's happening? This has never happened before. We're all locked down. Like uh, that's all we do. We sit at our houses, and 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 funny about that is that everyone's playing bazooki. It's like uh, and 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 uh, there's bits in, in uh, there's bits in in mythology and history that that saying that things like that. That's how. That's what's going to happen in like prophecies and that. That this is what's going to happen in, in, in the future. So you never know what's what's uh, what's uh, what's really going to happen exactly. But you're getting an idea of how um, how um, the music works how back it goes and uh how it, it, it what it, uh because a lot of people will ask themselves what what it, um what what um what's the sound what's the sound and and uh, what's so special about the bazooki because the bazooki the greek people when they play or listen even listen even people that don't play the bazooki it's it's hard to explain. It's 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 it comes from the soul. It comes from inside. It's really hard to explain. So that's why I believe that bazooki is very, very ancient and very special. And maybe the myths are real. Um, that's what mythology is all about. Because what mythology means is um, real and not real. So. <laughs> You don't know exactly what 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 it is. It could be, it could be real, or it could be not real. So, and maybe the back then they all this is for us to decide. Um, um, and that's basically what good is all about. Like um, um, 
or being good is not like um, doing it because I have to do it. It's like it has to come naturally. Um, that's how it, um, uh, that's how um, faith is. You you got to be faithful and you got to stick to faith. You can't just be faithful for a year and then say oh why wow, wow, and then just forget about it. You got to be faithful forever, and and that's what it's all about.